Uh, my name is in the language is Wawasquanish. And when I got it, it first meant little flower. But over time, as I grew and liked to believe I matured, um, my name changed and it changed over time to um, one that uh, responsibility that I was instructed to pick up is to one who brings seeds of knowledge and light. And then another elder from uh, Cape Croker gave me, um, we were talking and he asked me my name and he shared that he uh, named the Chichimon. So when I told him my name, he gave me another interpretation of it. And um, he said, uh, what comes to mind when he heard my name is like that flashing light, like the, um, like the one in the lighthouse. It's there and it's always there, but it's always gone at the same time. And so that's an aspect apparently of um, what one of my professors told me about. But that's um, a little piece of who I am. The other aspect that I want to speak about is that um, I'm one of um, Art and Eva Solomon's daughters. There are five of us daughters, and I happen to be in the middle of those daughters. And I learned that um, there was a Native Studies department um, being contemplated when I was a young woman, probably. I don't know, maybe around the time I was 68 or 69, sometime in that window of time. And um, Dr. Newberry actually used to come to our house and he and my dad would sit on the lawn and talk about things. So from that, um, some time passed and I got married and uh, the talks were still happening. So what transpired was um, we used to come here to uh, University of Sudbury to have meetings and so I remember sitting outside of where the big pines are over there on the, the uh, northeast side and actually Mackenzie who is my granddaughter Mackenzie Straub she is also I gave her my name so she is also Wallace the difference between the two of us is that I have my traditional colors for my um, name. Mackenzie yet doesn't have that. But this granddaughter um, is the son, is the daughter of my son that I nursed on those front, front grass before there was a Native Studies department. And um, so that's my frame of reference on how things came to be. And another um, delightful piece to this is that uh, Mackenzie is the fourth generation now in Solomon's. Uh, she's my granddaughter. So my dad established with the um, love and support and hard work of quite a few people, the Native Studies Department. Um, my son, my mom, myself, and various other people used to come to these meetings so that we knew what was going on. Because when we asked him what did they talk about, he'd say, you gotta come for yourself and find out. So that's how I ended up coming to the meetings. And so um, my son came here and studied geology. Uh, I came here and am in the um, first cohort for the Native Human Services, which is then called Native Human Services, first cohort of the four-year program. So Mackenzie's father, Kristen, came to study geology, and now Mackenzie is here, and you can speak to the program. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I'm in second year biomedical biology with a minor in psych. Um, we're just recently back in Sudbury. Uh, we moved around quite a bit as a kid, as kids, and um, I am actually just now learning about 
All the wonderful rooms that are in the University of Sunbury. I've gone here for two years. <laughs> uh, I've been to the residences, but I haven't actually walked around, so this has been pretty interesting. Um, I'm always eager to know and um, learn more about my heritage and um, the deep roots that our family has here at the University of Sudbury. Uh, so I really look forward to learning more and being more, way more present in our community. Um, thanks, team. <laughs> and uh, everyone else who <coughs> came together tonight to put this uh, wonderful celebration into place. Um, yeah, I'm really grateful for everything that I've learned tonight, and I will now make a very much, very bigger, considerable effort to um, really connect.